So before jumping to Hello World program of React, I just want to deep dive inside the project we have installed in the last episode by using this create react app command. So let's just open our project in Atom. So let's open this in Atom. We have our Atom here and I have just changed Atom theme to one light because I like this. Okay, so this project which is just installed in the last episode has many things. Firstly, it has node modules. So this folder will have every everything required to run by the node. And you don't have to look inside this folder because we don't have to care about its content. We just need the else part. So let's just go directly to package.json file, which is the extremely important file because it has the skeleton of the project downloaded by the npm. So its name is react app as we have given. Version is this, privacy is good. Here comes the dependencies. These are the three things which we need to start our react app. Firstly, it need react obviously and then react dom. Remember in the first episode, I have told you about the virtual DOM system. The whole document object model is now inside of a React DOM, which is virtually available. To understand it, just think about the copy of the HTML inside the React. And whenever there is a change, it will reflect to the original content. Then we have React script. Uh, what this will do? Okay, so here comes the scripts part and we have this first script called start. So why not just see what this will do. In the last episode, we have also done that part. But for now, what I am going to do, I'm going to say npm run start. That should be start and hit enter and within no time, our app is on a live local server. How this happens? Because we have run this script of start, which is coming from React script. Remember this one? React script start. But where this exists in our project? Now comes the node modules as I have discussed. So I have told you, do we don't have to care about its content? Yeah, we don't have to care about its content, but we have to look about this. So let's go inside this node modules folder and go to our part where we will get the react script. So P Q R and here it is. You can see react, react DOM, react script. Everything is available here. React is here, React DOM is here, and React Script, this one is here. Let's talk about React Script Start. Script and Start. You can see it is just an overwhelming thing. I don't have to look about this because it has lots of things. Because what is it actually doing? It just creating a server for you. So you can see webpack content is there and then open browser it automatically open the browser that capability is defined here the server the host port everything you can see if I change this to 5000 and terminal reload and restart and just few minute our server is now localhost 5000 instead of 3000 earlier. So this is the magic of diving deep inside the project. Okay, so let's just make it again 3000. Otherwise, in the future, we will somewhat <laughs> not going to have some problem. Okay, so here comes the HTTP protocol. So if HTTPS is there, then true. And these are the things we don't have to look for now. Maybe in the future, we will talk about that. So this is actually the system. Let's just again open that package.json file 
and let's see this build is also there test eject so everything is coming from this so if you are interested you can explore these things and just showing you how these things works okay so let's close this even this node module folder so here is the json package.json file let's close this and now comes the git ignore uh, if you are familiar with git or version control github then you probably know that we can have a git repository on the github or anywhere where we just push everything our project but obviously you don't have to push these tons of folders to your repository so that means we have to ignore it so git ignore ignores node modules even it ignores covers build part and lots of thing okay so it's just a simple git ignore file okay then comes the important and the extremely useful directory which is called source or simple src here comes let's go to index.js file and here is our react so don't worry it's just a simple app what it's having i will just tell you in the first line it is having react from react and remember the react in the package.json this one this is the exactly same thing we are importing that's react from this react obviously the react dom and to style we are importing the index.css file and don't be confused because yeah it's a javascript file and we are using a css file inside a javascript file this is not a regular practice but react do this and this is actually the power of react then we are importing the app and what is this let's first see where is this index.css simply the index.css is just above and it's just defining the uh, font nothing else so you can also define uh, other things if you want but let's just leave it the important file is this app what is this you can see here we are using react dom dot render and this one if you are following me you have probably seen that this part if i go here to code pen uh, you remember that thing we are using react dom dot render then html part and same thing we are doing here react dom dot render but i don't think html5 even have this app tag yeah this is not a html tag this is actually the components one of the greatest thing of react the component and then we are just linking this component to our root file and where is these two this app and this root let's see first talk about the app app.js is here you can see it's again having the react even the component it's also loading the logo.svg which is this one this logo which is rotating where is this logo this logo is here logo.svg because it's svg we don't have to look about this okay then it's also loading its css file and again don't worry about this it's a react way of using css and here comes our real html part so you have this div class name app div class name app header and most of the things so this thing is actually rendering here we have separated out all the logic demanding by this app component in a new file and this actually makes our coding experience very delightful okay so this is okay but we are linking this app to any div or any tag which is having the idea of root but where is that okay so to have this root element we have to go to now new directory which is called public let's open this public directory and here we have only three file 
most important is the index index.html a simple index html file and here you can see we have this div with the id of root and this actually id of root div is we are talking here so what we are doing we are attaching inside this our app this one but we don't have to do manually all these things because react take care of these things so this is the greatest part and then we are done we have created this simple thing actually we have not created but we have understand the simple thing how actually react project works so let's see and let's try to open this in browser so i will drag this to chrome so let's see what will be the result but i think we have done everything correct and we have not even changed anything but it's not doing that because we are not on the server it's just we are rendering index.html which is having nothing you can see even it don't have any kind of script so how these things are working to have a look about all these things actually what this one have this page have we have to look about the new thing called build so let's just run let's close this so we have to say npm run build and hit enter and here you can see we have now a new folder called build and this folder have two things but i think it's not completed yeah now it's completed and it this folder has many things it has the index.html file but it's obviously this is uh, totally minified so we cannot see anything but we can see we have this script tag now we can have css files we have json we have icon and even we have this css file all these things are coming from static files so you can see this is actually our app.js which is converted into this file so you can see we can have a look of our project how it works while if we can use npm build which extract everything for us so obviously we don't need this folder so let's just delete this one so move to trash that's okay so we have seen that our project we have installed by using the create react app command on the terminal and we are getting these things which having the basic package.json file which include the basic npm packages or modules we need to start with react then we have seen that we have this html part in which we have just a simple div tag which is having the id of root and that is used by react to link this app component to this root div and this app component is here which is actually having the real content the real html part so i think all these things are little overwhelming and we will cover all these things we will simplify all these things and then we will start from next episode the hello react app and simply going to build the great thing so so keep watching the bitfumes channel because here future meets success and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram till then goodbye